Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smojo and welcome back to another video my friends. Today we're going to be doing the Water Mage build for Vampire Survivors. Now to give you guys a rundown of this build, this build practically uses everything that's blue inside of the game, you know, or close to blue, you know, matter of fact, uh, we're talking about Santa Water, Magic Wand, Clock Lancet, Bone Garlic, and Laurel with the respect of uh, passives and a little bit of extra passives in there to boost everything else. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like it. Let's do this. Now, when doing the Water Mage build, of course, I'm going to be rocking the, the Mordecai now. I do believe that uh, the Cleric or Imelda would probably have a better looking character in forms of a water mage, but uh, Mordecai has the bones and we're using bones for this build. So we're gonna rock with the bones and we're also gonna go green acres just because green acres is probably the hardest map that there is right now. Definitely gonna go green acres. Man, this is fast, man. So right off the back, we already got something bad. We, we, we can't use any of these. So we're gonna reroll. And let's, let's go ahead and get Magic Wand. Now, the first thing that we really want to focus on, in my personal opinion, I think we really want to focus on Santa Water first. Just try to get some type of evolved weapon. And I think Santa Water is the, the strongest evolved weapon in this entire build. So that's what we're going to want to focus on first. But it's, it, it pretty much all just comes down to RNG. At the, I, I, as soon as I was talking about RNG, it pretty much comes down to RNG at the end of the day. But uh, we got lucky. We already got Santa Water, which is pretty solid. You know what I mean? So we got really, really, really lucky on that. Now that we have Santa Water, the only thing that we practically need the oh we already got the uh the, the the passive for the evolve need of santa water now that we have santa water the only thing we should really focus on is pretty much upgrading santa water or getting passives that buff santa water things like speed or uh spell binder for the duration here right here yeah we're definitely upgrading santa water uh things like you know duration anything you know anything that pretty much upgrades santa water because that's going to be the main thing that's going to be dealing damage you know late game early game and, and so far and so on now here i think i'm actually gonna pick up laurel because laurel is needed for this build was well, not needed but i just put it in there because i had an extra weapon slot you know what i mean and i didn't want to put anything that does damage like laurel doesn't do damage you know um so i'm just gonna i'm, I'm gonna grab that just because i saw it but if, if we get a sand water we're definitely gonna upgrade it again i'm gonna be honest we haven't gotten really lucky you know what i mean i have a maxed out bones but when it comes to upgrading our sand water five minutes in bro we only have what like we, we got three until it's maxed out, but uh, I'd say we still got pretty unlucky with the amount of Santa Waters. We do have this chest up here, so I could maybe get lucky in this chest real quick and maybe get some more Santa Waters because I'm trying to max this out as soon as possible. Let's see what we get. Let's see. Please get a Santa Water. So I one. Okay. We got lucky. Finally, we got lucky. Oh, man, this guy looking kind of rough. They getting kind of close. Santa Water is putting in work though. Even though it's not evolved, I have to wait until the 10 minute mark to evolve it. But it's still putting in a lot of work, bro. And, you know, these, these guys got a little bit of health on them. But but uh, nevertheless, Santa Water is still putting in a lot of work. It's, I, I, it's definitely our biggest damage dealer right now. 100%. And probably Bones a second. Definitely. All right, so we got our first 10 minute chest right here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, we, we love it up. Let's get garlic. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see. Please be an evolution. I need a Santa water or magic wand evolution. Okay, we got Santa water. That's really good. I don't even think I can evolve the magic wand just as yet. But we got Santa water, which is really, really good. So we're, we're, we're balling right now. We're balling right now. Garlic isn't going to do Jack Dilly squat, but Santa water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're, we're, we're balling. We're balling 100 percent now here's where things get crazy you can see you can see santa water putting it at work this, this build isn't even done yet bro this build isn't even done yet we're still missing a weapon and we're still missing a passive but you can pretty much see how crazy santa water can be with this water mage build bro and hey, they're not getting close to me they're not they're just not getting close to me at all it's just it's, it's impossible they're just they're just not capable just not capable there we go boys we got everything we need now we just picked up the uh the clock lance in the amount or the ring is this a done deal once we upgrade everything bro it's a done deal man all we gotta do now is upgrade everything get our evolutions and we win that's a dub looks like there's a chest over here let me see this got it yes sir that's another evolution gotta be let me get a let me get a good magic wand evolution let me get that magic wand. Let me get that big Peter Shooter guy, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. And this should be our last evolution, the evolution of garlic, which will be very... Oh, we got a big boy chest. We got a big boy chest. But yeah, this should be our last evolution, evolution of garlic. Let me see. It better be. I hope so. I hope so. Look at that money. Yep, the evolution of garlic. Now this build is practically finished. I just gotta keep upgrading my items and I'm just I'm just completely overpowered at this point. Now, if you're unfamiliar on how this build actually works, there's a lot of mechanics going on 
with this build with the weapons that i chose with this build so obviously our main damage dealing weapon will be uh the santa water the evolved santa water which is labora right and then our secondary damage would be the bones with the uh the magic wand now the bones and the magic wand they're secondary damage mainly because they're primarily used for utility and that utility being knockback which is very important in this build because we want to keep enemies away from us but also keep them on santa water as much as possible so their main purpose in this build is for knockbacks and clock the clock lancet of course is to freeze enemies and the garlic is also used for utility if you guys don't know when something is hit by the garlic they have a, a higher chance of being frozen or knocked back which we have freeze and we have two knockback weapons so utility is up to max and then we just got our dps which is santa water making this a absolute all around perfect build and here we go i pretty much have it all my items maxed out now um for the passive we're using empty tune red heart the magnet area spellbinder bracer and a mount now that is seven passives because i usually rock this build on the uh on the library map but uh if you're not rocking this build on the library map then you could probably sacrifice one of those for the other or whatnot uh personally i feel like a mount would probably want to sacrifice for the area because of course you're rocking the labora so area would matter and you're also rocking garlic so area would matter but i just picked up a mount just to pick it up but you could have rocked the area i think you know it would have probably been a little bit better but yeah this is pretty much what a max out water mage looks like you know what i mean area would have maybe looked a little bit better but other than that you, you pretty much get the gist this is this is the ultimate build in my opinion this build is freaking amazing you know it's got the utility it's got the damage it's got the crowd control like what else do you want <laughs> out of a build you know what i mean this build is great so we're practically now at the end game of the build on this map the hardest map in the game now i i i I feel like having area on this build versus a mount, you know, or sacrifice something else for area would have made it a little bit better. But you can practically see that we pretty much don't need it. We pretty much don't need it to beat the game. Um, and I, I haven't moved from this spot, you know, for like a good 10 minutes. So every single boss has come across here has either been frozen or knocked back, etc. But you can pretty much see like 20 seconds left, bro. We, we practically beat the game. We're not going to be death himself, but it, this build is amazing. Okay, look at all those numbers. Look at all those numbers going across the screen. Those, those are a lot of numbers. Now, if you're interested in the uh, in the DPS check, let, let, actually, let's see if we, what we do against death right now. Let's see, because he's going to get frozen. He's going to take a bunch of damage, right? Let's see if he actually even gets the chance to hit us. I doubt we'll kill him. I, I highly... Do you know how much health this man has? I highly doubt that we'll actually kill him, but uh, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to hit us because we have laurel and because we keep freezing him. So somehow, some way, we're going to have to kill ourselves. All right, so it's like I keep fr freezing him, but then Laurel kicks in whenever he starts dealing damage to me. But I have two deaths on me now. So, okay, there we go. We finally died. We finally died. Now, let, let, let's look at this. Uh, oh, I can revive. I forgot that's a thing. I forgot that's a thing in this game. I haven't died. So, I honestly forgot that was a thing. Now, we have to die again. Come on, deaths. Come on. It's funny you can push these guys around. Come on, deaths. Someone kill me. When do you guys kill me? When do you guys take me out? Come on. Take me out. Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. Now for this damage report, let's see. So Laurel did or Labor did 14 million damage with 11.2k damage per second. Bone did 10 million with 5.4k. So those are pretty much our two DPS damage uh, weapons in the entire game. But you could you could pretty much see the stats yourself um you know it is what is pretty damn amazing i think and uh yeah uh, hopefully you guys use it uh if you're interested in more builds like this uh let me know what builds you'd be interested in in the comments and i usually post all my builds in the discord server down below the fan made discord server so make sure you join that if you're interested in any other builds videos or anything like that um and i appreciate you guys watching make sure you subscribe for more vampire survivors content and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great morning evening and afternoon my friends and peace